hey beauties welcome to my channel and if you want to see a tutorial on how i created this look stay tuned so today's tutorial is using the i've had this palette for a while well it looks weird in the camera it really looks like a <laughs> anyway maybe my contact are messed up but this is by the juvia's place it is their zulu palette and i really y'all this look went left because in a good way because i really did not mean to create this i originally meant to create a smoky eye um purple smoky eye i'll do that another time but i want to have a look created to go with this wig that i just finished a tutorial on if you want to see a tutorial on this unit and how i finessed her you can go ahead and click the link above and It'll take you straight to it. I'll also put a link in the description box. So I'm going to not talk so much. So you can go ahead and get, the get to the tutorial. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Hey love bugs. I'm back with another tutorial. I'm actually applying my base right now. This is by ColourPop. It is their no filter concealer. And I have her in the shade uh, Dark 46. So I did zoom out. So don't worry. I won't mess this tutorial up. I'm just going to blend that out all over my lid. And I'm just going to try to cover my whole lid because I want the eyeshadow to be really pigmented once I apply it. Alright, so I'm going to take that dark purple out of the Zulu palette. I really love this palette. And this is where I went left when I was talking about. I was actually supposed to do a purple smoky eye. But I ended up putting it only in my crease and I didn't realize until after. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, pack on that purple eyeshadow in the crease trying to create an oval shape on uh, my eyes so that's just a shape I'm trying to create. I don't know if I was that, that successful because I ended up adding liner um, in the end but whatever. So I'm going to take this light blue and blend out that purple and it's going to take a lot of blending so just don't leave it like that <laughs> and um, just go ahead I switched the brush because it wasn't blending easy with the brush I had this is just an angled uh, kabuki brush I call it a kabuki brush and I'm just blending until I feel like it's uh, the two colors aren't easily noticed like if there's no definite line and that's what you want you want to make sure that there's no definite line when blending the two colors together Like you owe your tax, owe me back 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 like you owe your tax, So I went ahead and cut the crease only in the center. I'm going to create an, uh, a halo eye effect. And I'm going to go ahead and take that shimmery, cute, shimmery pink in the palette. I love this uh, pink. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that with the purple on my lid. Just so it won't be such a harsh line. I'm just going back and forth between the two colors. So guys, I didn't show the, this process, but I did add color to my bottom lash line. I just added the blue first, and then I did the purple on top of that, and I 
added a pop of the lime green shimmer color from the Azulu palette into my inner corner. And now I'm lining my eyes, adding my mascara. I did put a black line above, like in the, the, above the halo, but I decided that I wanted something more electric. And that's when I got my yellow liner and I traced that above instead. Okay love, so I applied my foundation already and now I'm just doing my highlight and contour and I just thought it would be fun to add to the video. So after this, I'm done. I'm all done with this whole look. So tell me what you think down in the comments below. Is this something that you would try just for fun obviously. This is just um, a look that I really just want to try and I think it came out really nice. Tell me what you think down below. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.